Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Random Sand today. I'll be showing you how to improve your shaky B-roll footage in the new 3.0 update in LumaFusion. If you like close-up or zoomed-in shots and have forever plagued with the inevitable shaky footage, you now have the ability to correct or at least reduce the shakiness in those shots with some post-production stabilization editing that is now available in the new LumaFusion 3.0 update. In this video, I will show you how to use your imported video footage and stabilize it in LumaFusion. If you have updated your LumaFusion app on your iPhone, iPad, or M1 Mac, then you will already have access to this and the other new LumaFusion features that are available. So let's get over to the iPad and look at that new stabilization feature. You can access the new stabilization feature by opening the clip editor. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the new stabilize feature amongst the other editors. Click on this to enter. I'm going to demonstrate the stabilization feature on a few shaky B-roll clips that I took for the AirPods Pro for an upcoming review video. As you can see from my first clip, my raw panning shot is a little bit shaky. Clicking on it to get into the Stabilize Editor, you can choose the Lock and Load Stabilization by Cormelt. This is also a stabilization plugin for Final Cut Pro. Enabling this will automatically analyze by tracking the clip's dominant motion and adjust the clip, making it more stable without you having to adjust another setting. Together with the Lock and Load Stabilizer, there is automatic shutter correction, which when enabled will try to correct image distortion created either by fast camera or object motion. There are presets located at the top right, which offer a mixture of light, medium, and strong stabilization strength, and others which combine the same different strength options, but with added automatic shutter correction. Should you want an adjustment within these parameters, you can always adjust the slider to your own preference. If you want further customization, you can extend the advanced strength drop down to reveal horizontal, vertical, rotational, and zoom strength. The advanced scale, which allows you to adjust the smart scaling speed and fixed scale, and advanced margin, which, if necessary, fills in the space around the clip if stabilization requires the frame of the clip to be adjusted in a way that reveals the space external to the current clip. From all the adjustments, this is the stabilized clip, and if we compare it to how the original clip looked, you can see how those fine adjustments have improved the clip. Here are a few more clips that I have stabilized using LumaFusion's new stabilization feature.
as you can see, a great long-awaited, powerful stabilization feature now available in Numa Fusion that will add that professionalism to your shaky clips in just a few clicks, meaning you won't have to spend more money on steady rigs or even gimbals to create those steady looking shots. And it's another awesome feature added to Luma Fusion's ever-growing armory of features. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below? Or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one, go.